Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to terminate your CAN bus in a node length. So we talk about that node length quite a bit. Um, and it can't be over a foot. So I have some matching blue-white conductor wire here. And I'm gonna cut off a piece as long as I need. Uh, you know, and then we'll set up our node length. So I'm gonna strip this out. Cut it kind of long, and then we're gonna fan that conductor out. can uh, use your fingernail or whatever you need to do there. And then I'm going to square these wires away. So I need my two blue-white conductors and I'll fold my two white ones back. We're not using them right now. So my two blue-white conductors, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna strip them long and fan them out. And this guy. Now I'm going to match these guys up and kind of fan them out together. I'm not twisting yet. I'm just fanning them out and then I'm going to use my other fanned out wire and push them together. Now I'm going to twist. So twist on both sides, turn it over if you need to, you know, make it smooth, make it look nice, make them look like they're twisted together well. Then I'm going to use my wire strippers again as my helping hand tool. So it looks like I got a little bit off there. Nothing crazy. Nothing we can't get fixed before it's a done deal. So I'll clean my wire up a little bit and now I'll take my soldering iron and again, same thing we've been doing when we solder. So we add a solder ball, put it on the bottom of the wire, let it get hot. There we go. Wire is nice and hot. We can draw that solder all the way through. Okay, so now we have a good soldered together splice. And then I'm going to take my piece of shrink, a heat shrink. It's a little smaller than the heat shrink that we were using down there because it's a smaller wire. So I'll put that heat shrink tubing over that. And then again, with my heat gun, I'll heat it up and So there we have a CAN bus splice and from here to the end is our node length.